What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a docking station from Oracle and this is an MVME docking station which means you can add extra storage to your device very very easily. At least I know I wish I got more storage on my MacBook. Well this is going to definitely help you out even if you have a Mac mini. Now it's not just a storage device, it also gives you an SD card reader, two USB-A 5 gig ports, one USB-A 10 gig port as well as a USB-C 10 gig port on the front there. Flipping it over you get access to gigabit ethernet, so you can go ahead and plug in that cable and forget about that slow Wi-Fi. It's also a headphone jack, as well as dual monitor support. So when using these together, it outputs 4K on each of those ports, whether it's the display port or the HDMI. And if you want to use just one of these, you can get up to 8K resolution. So more than enough for you guys that really want to maximize that resolution. And it also supports up to 100 watt of USB-C charging. So as you get your productivity done, your MacBook is going to stay charged up no matter how long you're on it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the docking station from Oracle. And it is pretty portable as well, guys. They do give you this really handy travel pouch. So you can always throw this in your bag when you're working remotely. Small size, powerful, and portable is the name of the game. But let's go ahead. I got a drive to install, and then we're going to check out some of the ports on my MacBook Pro. For the drive, I'm going to install the D10 from Oracle, and this is going to be a one terabyte drive. They do have they do have larger capacity drives as well. Now installation is going to be very simple, guys. Go ahead and release that lid. Before we insert my drive, I just want to let you guys know that you do have a built-in fan. So that's going to ensure that this whole compartment, the whole docking station itself remains cool. And that again will help you in the long run when it comes to performance and whatnot. But it's pretty simple to install a drive, guys. So let's just get to it. Let's go ahead and install one of these pads on my SSD. I'm going to put that heat dissipating pad right on the top here. There's also an aluminum heat sink to help keep your drive cool. Again, helping with that productivity and longevity of your drive when it comes to protecting your files. But before we insert my drive, you do have one of these little plugs. So you can see you have that little plug right there. Inserting the plug on the side is just going to keep this drive in place once you put it into the docking station. So let's just go ahead and do that, and you'll see how simple it is, even from behind the camera. Press down on it, give it a little twist to keep it in place, and that's how quick it is. I mean, this could even be hot swappable if you had a couple of these drives and you wanted to switch them out. You are definitely able to do that, and it's going to remain in place once again. The next step is just to head over to my Mac, and then we're going to do some speed tests together. But overall, I think this is an excellent docking station, again, just to increase those ports on your MacBook. Also to give you extra function, like dual monitor out, or even that gigabit ethernet connection. And you see on the bottom you do have those air vents there to bring in all that fresh air when that fan kicks in. We're just a few notes as we're checking out the speeds and whatnot. I do not notice the fan at all. I mean, it's sitting behind my MacBook and never once have I noticed that this fan was actually really, really loud. It's not something that's bothered me. It's not something that I've even, even ever paid attention to. So guys, let's just run a couple speed tests here really quickly. A matter of fact, I do need to connect my mouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to one of the USB-A ports. So the first thing we're gonna do is test out the gigabit ethernet speeds. So let's just go ahead and press start. And we should definitely get gigabit ethernet. And yep, you can see I am maxing out that gig ethernet connection. 950.56, that seems about right guys. Let's see what the upload is gonna be. But so far, the Ethernet is definitely giving me gigabit Ethernet speeds. Yep, we're still getting 970 on the upload. So that's, that's looking really good as well. The next thing we want to do is just go ahead and, and test out the speed of the MVME drive. All right, so these are the speeds that I'm getting from that D10. So 719, and it's about that 656 right. Again, you should be getting some faster speeds. It all depends on what type of drive you have in there. But this is the speeds that I'm getting from that D10 drive. As we let the test run its thing, I just want to show you on the front, you do have a USB-C port right on the front here. So you can plug in another device and it will charge. So I have my S25 Ultra here. It will charge another device, as you can see here. I am charging. So that front USB-C port can be used to charge other devices when you're on the go. Now it also will support data input. You can also connect another dock if you wanted to daisy chain it and get, get a little bit more functionality when it comes to extra ports. I hope this helped you out and I think this is an excellent docking station for anybody that's looking to extend the functionality of their MacBook 
Maybe it's a PC, a tablet, even a cell phone. Anything that has USB-C is basically going to work with this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you in another video.